First you will need to make sure you have a non-conductive table that is 15 inches off the floor. I have the IKEA cart that makes a great table for the biocharger. Place the base of the biocharger NG on top of the table or cart that you will be using. On the base of the biocharger NG, there are three pieces of tape holding the metal grounding strip in place. Remove those pieces of tape. Remove the secondary coil from its box. Only handle the secondary coil by the gray ends of the tube do not touch, rub, or scrape the red coating. This is a soft coating meant to protect the copper wiring of the secondary coil. There is a bolt inside the base of the biocharger NG located in the center of the base. Screw the secondary coil onto this bolt. Do not over tighten the secondary coil once the secondary coil is snug. Do another quarter turn on the secondary coil. Slide the tube carousel over the secondary coil. Make sure not to scrape or rub the red protective coating on the secondary coil. There are three divots on the base of the biocharger NG. The legs of the tube carousel have notches that will rest inside of these divots. There are no specific instructions to handling the spectrum tubes other than handling them with care. Touching the glass itself is perfectly acceptable. Install the spectrum tubes according to the diagram you will notice they consist of two sets of six tubes. We recommend they be placed in a mirrored configuration. You will notice a protrusion at the bottom and the sticker is at the top of each tube. It doesn't matter which way the tube faces, it might be nice to face the stickers facing out so that you can see which gas each tube is. Over time the vibrations from the biocharger will move the tubes so they might not be lined up as you put them in and that is okay. We will now need to get the small white box that came inside the box with the base. You will notice a microfiber cloth. If you need to now go ahead and dust off anything that was left behind from the foam while it was packaged. Now we are going to need the two flat washers, split slash lock washer and the coupling nut right now. Take one of the flat washers and place it on the bolt on top of the secondary coil. Install the 12 inch silver toroid. Install the second flat washer on top of the 12 inch silver toroid. Install the lock washer on top of the flat washer. Install the coupling nut. You will want to tighten the coupling nut as tight as you can. Make sure that you do not strip it, but you do want to ensure that this part of the assembly is tight. Use the provided wrench to make sure it is tight. Remove the protective film on the outside of the plexiglass outer enclosure. Slide the plexiglass outer enclosure over the spectrum tubes and secondary coil. The outer enclosure will rest within the hexagonal slot on the base of the biocharger NG. The metal grounding strip will rest inside of the plexiglass outer enclosure. Place the white hexagonal top cover on top of the plexiglass outer enclosure. Black nylon screw versus arc rod. At this point of the assembly, we would like to make you aware of the difference between the brass arc rod and the black nylon screw. The arc rod produces a small amount of negative ions, ozone, and emits sound. If noise is a consideration and you wish to run the biocharger NG silently, you want to use the black nylon screw. You will not lose any functional benefits of the biocharger NG by using the black nylon screw. You can switch them out at any time as long as the biocharger is not running a recipe. Once you have selected the arc rod or the black nylon screw, screw in through the hole in the top of the top cover and into the coupling nut. You will want to tighten either option hand tight. If you are going to connect your biocharger NG to your wireless network, plug in the provided USB Wi-Fi adapter into the USB port under the red emergency shutoff button on the front panel of your biocharger NG. Power Cord Assembly There are two power cords that come with your biocharger NG. One power cord will have an inline filter box, and the other will be a regular power cord. The power cord with the inline filter box will connect to the back of the biocharger NG. This power cord will plug into the power connector port that is next to the power switch on the back side of the biocharger NG. The regular power cable, the one without the inline filter box, will plug into the other end of the power cable that does have the box. Plug into a wall outlet. Powering on your biocharger NG. 
You will need to power on your biocharger engine using the power switch located on the back. Once you click on the dash and it is flush, you will need to look at the front of the biocharger and turn that red emergency button a quarter turn to the right so it pops out. Now you will see the two green lights on the left. You will also notice a penguin appear in the upper left hand corner of the LCD screen. Give your biocharger NG a few minutes to boot up. Once your biocharger NG has fully booted up, you should have a screen that looks like this. You will see setup, your name and guest.